So Todd Howard just gave an interview to Jeff Niley or something like that. He's a guy at E3 and a pretty good interviewer at that. And he really dove into a lot of the questions and a lot of the things I had in mind pertaining to Fallout 76. So I'm going to cover a few of those. This video is going to specifically be about mod support. So yes, Todd Howard has 100% confirmed mod support will be coming with Fallout 76, just not at launch. The way Todd Howard described it is he knows that a lot of Bethesda games are really big in the modding scene and that's a huge backbone of their community and he's not turning away from that. He said it's going to be way more complex this time around because it is an always online game and I'm going to have a video on that also because he goes into it. And honestly my understanding was they have a framework idea of how mods are going to work but they don't have the full picture just yet. They're not entirely sure as to how they're going to implement mods in Fallout 76 but they are determined to do it going forward. For me at least that was extremely reassuring. It's something that I've been wondering for a very long time and I'm happy we finally got an answer to. Specifically one of the things he mentions is that you can actually have private servers and upload your mods into those servers or private worlds is the exact name he used. One question that arises with this is how are these going to work because at the E3 conference Todd Howard said that it's only going to be dedicated servers or all of the servers will be dedicated. This implies that you can't host your own server. We don't have a direct confirmation of that but it kind of makes a lot of sense based on pretty much everything else they've shared with us but one way I can imagine this working is more or less you can start your own server let's say you may have to pay for it which i don't know if that's going to be a thing or not or maybe bethesda out of the kindness of their heart will host a small server for you to play with your friends and there's a few different ways this could go either a when you join the server you're going to have to have a certain selection of mods already enabled it'll check that you have those mods and if you do you'll be allowed into the server or if you don't have them it'll just reject you and say hey please download this mod or alternatively the way some other games handle it like gary's mod actually when you connect to the server it'll download any mods you don't have already installed it'll prompt you if you want to download those mods which you need to connect to that server either way it seems like modding is going to be here it definitely seems like it won't be as seamless as fallout 4 which is kind of natural with an always online game but i imagine things like custom power armor custom weapons or any other things that you're used to seeing in fallout 4 modding will be allowed to be created it just may be a little bit more difficult you're going to have to potentially upload it to your server now how easy or difficult that becomes is up in the air also console modding. There's no direct question about this. I would imagine they don't take a step back and remove that. But at the same time, it's kind of curious as to how that's going to play out. And one other major thing that may be an implication here is Todd Howard actually said this is going to largely be kind of a games as a service game. And what that means is you actually play the game and there'll probably be a bunch of DLC. Microtransactions or things like Creation Club will probably be present with this game as it kind of extends on its lifespan. We don't have direct confirmation as to whether or not Creation Club is making a return, but based on this interview, it seems like that's going to be extremely likely. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I just wanted to make a really quick video because it was a question I had. It was a question a lot of you guys had and well, we got our answer. I'm excited for this game. I'm happy we're getting mods. I'm not super happy about the always online part, but at least we know for a fact what it's going to be all about. I'll have a link to the interview down below. It's like in a YouTube live stream, but right now they're still live. So you have to like scroll back to the beginning of it. Either way, again, I thank you for watching and I hope to see you guys all next time. Later.